Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Forensics here at Pentester Academy. In this video we're going to show you how you can extract log files from your image and optionally import them into a database. What I have here is a simple script and this script like most of the scripts we have starts out shebang bin bash I have a little usage function which tells you please give me the mount point for the root directory of your subject file system and give me a database name if you want me to store this in the database when I'm done. If you didn't give me enough parameters, I'm going to give you the usage. I start out by saving the current directory and then I change to the var directory for our subject system. I use our old friend find and I find under log, again that's var log, files that are actual files. I'm going to use a regular expression and here's my regular expression. My regular expression is Look under log, look for something with letters, possibly a dot, one or more of those, and then look for zero or more letters and then a dot. So you're looking for something that is an actual log file. If you find it, exec awk, and here's my awk command my awk command says please print out the name of the file semicolon and then whatever was on each line and remember that the empty curly brackets is going to be used in order to replace this with my file name so if my file name was let's say syslog it's going to print syslog semicolon and then each line in that file. I will also pipe that to T, which T's the output to the screen into a file. So I'm going to, in the background, capture this to temp log files.csv and then I change back to your old directory. If you gave me a database, then I will change ownership on this log files CSV file. The reason I do that is to avoid problems importing it into my SQL. I use my cat less than less than EOF construct that we've used before. So I'm going to pipe to my SQL all of this. So from here to the EOF, I create a logs table and I give it an entry for a log file name, a log entry, and I give it a big int that it is auto incremented, which is a key. This allows me to more quickly access my database should I need to and it's really optional actually in this case but it's a good habit to get into so here I load data from my file using load data in file into my table logs and this is another very simple import I tell it my fields are terminated by semicolons and they're possibly enclosed by quotes and the lines are terminated with new lines and then here's the end of my if statement so pretty simple if I run this so if I go out to my command prompt and I run get log files dot sh on media 
part zero. Then I give it my database case 2015.3.9. And it should go do its thing. And it's done. So in a future video, we will have a look at our log files. But that's all for this video. As always, if you're enjoying these videos here at Pentester Academy, please tell a friend. We'll see you soon.